perhaps they give you an image of a radar and they say, let's say you're flying along and you now are faced with the decision to deviate around these storms. What would you do? Would you deviate? Let's say you decided you elected to go the deviation route. Are you going to go left or right? What kind of thought process did you go through in order to warrant that decision? And ultimately what we're looking for is primarily, hey, what is the wind direction as shown by the navigation display? Is it from the left or from the right? Of course, we always like to deviate on the upwind side of the storm so that we're not on the downwind side where we're at risk of A, the storm developing further on top of us, maybe closing up between two cells, right? As we kind of like to quote unquote thread the needle as we call it, that could be a somewhat risky thing to do depending upon how close the cells are and if you're on the downwind side of one of the larger cells where it starts to close up. The other thing to consider here is by what distance do you want to deviate around the cell? Always at least 20 nautical miles is what we like to give in terms of deviation around. So we're looking to see that you recite back with, hey, I'm trying to get on the upwind side, certainly give it a, at least a 20 nautical mile distance between ourselves and that cell. And I'm also considering the fact that weather radars only have the ability to see what's right in front and not necessarily what's behind. So if this image is a weather radar from an, uh, an onboard weather radar from an aircraft, then this would be a consideration. What's beyond that cell? What else is behind it? And then I'm gonna make my plans according to, well, what could be the best or worst case depending upon how I want my deviation to play out once I'm on the other side of this, right? I don't wanna be met with a surprise over there. Obviously, if it's a top-down next rad view or something like that, then there's no, there's no worries or concern about not being able to see beyond that cell coming up. Some other questions that can come, although perhaps not as common, because they should account for your background. If you're a GA background or a light, uh, perhaps turboprop background, not flying a lot in the flight levels, it's probably not common that they would ask you about coffin corner or Dutch roll because these are not elements of flight that you have yet dealt with, but they might. So what is Dutch roll? Can you describe what Dutch roll is? Can you describe what mock tuck is? So let's kind of unpack these a bit.